Okay, so now it's time to learn about integers. Integers are all the negative numbers and zero and all the positive numbers. Basically, it's what we talked about right before, whole numbers plus the negative numbers now. That's the definition of integers. Okay, starting a new one. Here we go. Now let's talk about the number line. This is what a number line looks like. Right in the middle is the zero. To the right are all your positives, to the left are all your negatives. Pretty basic idea. One, two, three, four, five. Other way is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. This is what a number line looks like. Goes both directions, how would I say that, infinitely. That's a number line. Okay, here's our next one. Now let's talk about opposites. Opposites, I'm going to talk about opposites and absolute value together because they're pretty commonly mistaken for each other. Very similar ideas, but they can have exact opposite answers. So let's check out what opposites are. These are actually mostly what, you can, when you think about it, comes right into your head. What's the opposite of 2? Negative 2. What's the opposite of 10? Negative 10. Um, it just means whatever the number is, change the sign. Opposite of 10? Negative 10. Opposite of negative 7? Positive 7. Now remember, when you write this, you don't have to write the positive sign. You would just write 7. If a number does not have a sign in front of it, it's positive. Opposite of zero is just zero. That's opposites. Now let me show you absolute value. Absolute value, if you can just remember, it's how many spots away from zero a number is. So if we'll go back to the number line, um, if I say what's the absolute value of 10, and this you um, demark absolute value by these straight lines on each side of the number. So if I want to know what's the absolute value of 10, here's 10. It's asking me how many spaces from zero. You can see that it's, if you work backwards, that's the way I like to do it, it's easier. You go back 5, 10. The absolute value of 10 is 10. It's 10 spaces from zero. The absolute value of negative 7, you go back 2 and 5 is 7. It's similar to opposites, but you have to, the big difference is with opposites, you just switch the sign. With the absolute value, your answer is only going to be a positive number. It's how many spots from zero. That's the difference between the two. Cut. Do you like my new hair? <laughs>